Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the Sean the Sheepman channel. This week on the farm, calving started, we've had our first calve and that calve needs a little bit of extra help. So that's what this video is going to be about. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm setting myself a new target. I'm going to try and get to 200 subscribers by the end of March. So come on guys, help us along and let's get there. And let's get into the video, guys. sheds now and I'm through the back in the calving pen area and this was the cow that calved behind me this was the first cow to calve in 2020 now the calves having some little problems it can't stretch its legs out fully this is just because of the way it's been lying in utero it's been lying all crunched up like that and basically those muscles and joints they still have some stretching and maneuvering to do so that the calf can fully stand up and fully move about properly. And I'll show you in a little while what I mean. Uh, he has moved during the night, but looking at his mother, I don't think he's fed. Uh, so I left him maybe about in this corner at 11 o'clock last night. And, oh, he's maybe gonna go up here. And you can see what I mean there by the legs. So if we get a closer look here, you can see what I mean with the legs. Those joints just haven't fully stretched out yet. The tendons are still a bit tight. The muscles are probably still a bit tight, but the calf is able to stand up and walk around. And this is two days on. Uh, two days ago, the legs were nowhere near as good as this to the point where the calf could stand like that. And the calf actually looks like it might be moving into the teats, but the mother's moved away. But that is a lot better than it was two days ago. Even though we can see this calf kind of standing up, it's a lot better than it was two days ago. I think it's still going to need an assist feeding today. Um, really, these legs will have straightened out and it'll be able to walk properly in about a week to two weeks. Uh, it'll probably start feeding a lot sooner than that. The way we can see it's getting up and it is moving around here. You can see what I mean? It's moved to itself to a nice comfy spot. But I just move around here, you can see it's, it's picked a nice spot to lie down again. So it should be able to feed itself in a few days, but we're going to have to assist feed it now. Mummy is in a bit of a grumpy mood. That's to be expected. She's just been a good mum and protecting her calf. But I'm going to get set up here. I'm going to get her out. I'm going to show you how to milk her. And then I'm going to show you how to assist feed the calf. Okay guys, that's me set up. I'm gonna get her out and we're gonna get her into the crate here. So I've got my stick here, which is just for my own protection. I'm gonna get her out. She, as I say, she is a little bit grumpy, but. Come on girl. Good girl, come on. Good girl. Shh, shh. Bugger. Come on, lass. So as you can see, we pretty much just use the stick as like extra reach for our arm and also for our own protection. I'm in the wrong side here. Shh, 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 shh. Good girl. Come 
Come on then. Come on, up you go. What I'll do here, guys, I'll put some food in, she'll just walk straight in. I'm gonna move you guys. Show her where the food is. She just should just walk up. Oh. Come on then. Come on, big lad. Good girl. Guys, so that's her in and ready to go. Normally we would put a kick bar in to stop me from getting kicked, but actually she's pretty calm once she's in. So I'm just gonna open the doors and go for it. And guys, I always like to touch them and work my way down first, just so they know that they're about to get milked. And it's not a surprise. So guys, I'm just putting the bit of milk I got there into the bottle. And I'm just putting it in the bottle so that if she does kick, she doesn't kick the milk out of my hand and then we wouldn't have any milk for the calf. So we're just gently milking her out. And you can see, once, like I said, once she's in, She's not too bad. I'm better with this hand, but I'm trying to show you guys. <laughs> Give you guys a view of what's going on, but I'm actually better here using my left hand. And the other part of this, it's important to completely milk out the cow because the calf's not sucking, she's not getting milked out which means she won't be constantly making new milk. The only way for her to make new milk is if the old milk is milked out. So we want to milk out as much as we can, even if we're not going to feed it all to the calf. Anything that's left can just be frozen and kept for maybe a cow that doesn't have enough milk to feed its calf. So okay guys, that's us now got enough milk for the calf in the bottle. I'm gonna leave uh, the cow here in the crate while we attend to the calf and get it fed. Mainly because I don't want her running over and causing a bit of trouble while we're doing this. It's much safer and easier to leave her in there while I do this. For both of us, really, because it'll stress her out less as well. Okay guys, I'm now in here with the calf. So just before we feed it, we're gonna check that he is healthy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just check his nose. His nose is nice and warm. His ears are nice and warm. So that's generally a good sign that he's healthy right now. What we're gonna do is we're going to tube feed him straight in his stomach. I would like to get him onto a bottle, maybe tomorrow, and get him used to sucking. But for today's feeding, we're just gonna tube it straight in because really, these first few days, we just want to keep putting milk in his belly and keep that strength up as much as we can. And we want to try and get as much We want to try and get as much milk as possible into him so that he can start getting up, getting about and keeping that strength up. So guys, 
what we're going to do, I've already wet the end of the pipe, but we're just going to gently open the mouth and start to thread in the pipe. And as I say, you just want to push it nice and easy. You don't want to force the pipe in. And you also want to make sure that you're in the stomach and not going into the lungs because you could drown the cough if you tube it into the lungs like this. Oh. So if you've never done something like this before and you've maybe got a few cows or you're new to farming, always do this under the supervision of somebody who's done it before. I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm pretty confident with what I'm doing. I don't know if you can hear that. I'll put it next to the mic. But you can hear the bottle bubbling away with the milk going into the stomach. So there's just a little bit more milk to go. I know me and the bottle are out of shot. What's your mum doing up there? She's making a nuisance of herself. And now the same way we put the pipe in, we're going to gently take it back out. And that's him just had three litres of milk in that space of time. Uh, so that's him had pretty much a full feed for him um, just in a couple of minutes. And that really will help him keep his energy up, keep his strength up and encourage him to keep trying to get up and use those legs because that's what's going to help him straighten out. The more he tries to use them and stretches them, the better they're going to become. Aren't they, bud? Uh, oh, buddy. You'll be fine, huh? Good girl. So we'll just put mum back in now and then I'll fill up our water bucket and get her some food. Oops, I've dropped it in the water bucket. There we go. So she's getting nice clean fresh silage and clean water and she gets that every few hours. Okay guys, so that's us sorted out, that cow that calved. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've found the things interesting. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want, remember we do have merch if you want to check that out as well. Cheers, guys. I'll see you later.